everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Heather and my channel is called beautifully mixed makeup today I'll be reviewing the newly launched Too Faced and Kat Von D collaboration sets there are two there's actually three total in this collaboration but I only bought two uh, because the third one you basically get in this one so, I'll explain a little bit these more are later. the two sets there is the Too Faced Kat Von D Better Together palette, which also includes the tattoo liner and the Better Than Sex mascara. And then there is the Too Faced Kat Von D Better Together Cheek and Lip Makeup Bag set. So let's dig right in, shall we? So I'm going to start with the palette. It retails for $65. Now in here you do get the full size palette that breaks apart. It's two different pieces. And they are magne magnetic, so they clip right together, which I think is kind of cool. It's supposed to be reminiscent or inspired by a friendship necklace. Remember in like middle school, high school time frame, you would give your friend half and you would wear the other half and they said BFF and it was a little heart. So I thought that was a really cute creative idea. The box is hard cardboard. Uh, I think that it's decently made. I mean, you're not going to be able to break this pretty easily or but I think that maybe if it got wet, it probably wouldn't last or hold up too well. It's not like the metal containers that we were used to from Too Faced, like the peach palette in that nice metal case which I love. But that is okay. On this side, we have the super pink and gold kind of girly uh look to the Too Faced side and then on the other side it's more dark and uh, more uh, romantic kind of um, kind of more of the edgier side for the Kat Von D side. Okay so we're gonna break this apart and we'll open it up. We're gonna start with the Too Faced side. When you open this up you have six total shades. You've got two that are semi-matte. Lovely is a, definitely a matte shade and then BFF has a little tiny bit of glitter in it, but you could totally use it. Uh, it's totally usable. And then four really shimmery shades. And then you have a letter on this side from Jared about his friendship with Kat Von D. Jared Vendino is one of the co-founders of Too Faced. And then on the back side, you have a letter from Jared to the consumer about, you know, why this was such a positive experience for him and why he loved making this collaboration so much. So that's really kind of sweet and cute and really kind of neat. Next we'll look at the Kat Von D side. It's really kind of similar when you open it up. You have the letter from Kat Von D to Jared or about her friendship with Jared and then we have three matte shades, really dark, and then three shimmery shades. So a little, a good combination. And then on the back we also have a a uh, letter from Kat to the consumer to us beauty makeup lovers. So that's pretty kind of cool and then they clip right together. It says that you can do a look, one look using each side and that you could also do looks with both together, kind of like com uh, combining the different shades. Now my feelings on this are kind of mixed. I'm 50-50 on it. The shades are not really anything new, I don't think. I think that they're really similar to some other shades we've seen in other Too Faced and Kat Von D makeup palettes. So if you are a diehard Too Faced fan and you have all of the chocolate bar uh, palettes, you have you know the semi-sweet, the dark, the white chocolate, you have all of those, then you may not need this one in particular. Same with Kat Von D, if you have um, her Serpentine, Chrysalis, and her Shadow Quads, then some of these colors are actually really similar to what you're going to find in there. So it's not going to be anything brand new for you if those are things that you already own. If you do not own either of these brands or you own only one palette of each or whatever, then you could totally buy this and may get something new. I would just kind of check in, look at the colors before obviously you purchase it. And then secondly, I don't see these two mixing very well. The different colors, the quality is decent. I don't know if they, they're not the best quality shadows I've ever seen or ever had. 
Um, the ones on the Too Faced side are a little powdery. Let's talk about price. So in the Kat Von D, no, let's talk about price. So in the Too Faced Kat Von D collaboration Better Together palette set, you're going to get the palette that consists of the two sides, a full size mascara, and a full size eyeliner. Now, for $65. This mascara alone is $23. The eyeliner, Kat Von D eyeliner alone is $20. So these two products together are $43. That means that you're only paying $22 for the palette. To me, that seems like a pretty good price. I feel like it, because you're getting full sizes of these and how high end or pricey these are in general, this palette seems worth it. I do not, again, I am 50-50 on it. I like it, but I've had this for about two weeks now. Yeah, I got this at the very, when it first launched, I ordered it. I've had it for about two weeks and I've only dipped into it once, maybe twice, which tells me that I am not in love with it completely. You I'm just not reaching for it as often as I am everything else. Right now I'm obsessed with the TARDIS Pro palette, which if you want to see a review on that, I'll link that down below. And the Too Faced Peach palette I'm obsessed with, as well as the Alice Through the Looking Glass Urban Decay palette. I think that all four of those have fun colors. There's enough mattes, enough shimmery shades, everything that you need to have you know, 365 days of looks if you really wanted to. I just don't think that this palette is quite as usable, especially for someone in my skin tone. There are certain colors, like I said, Love Struck and Darling that I could use every single day because they're super gorgeous. And then on the other side, I enjoy Better Together as well as For Inspiration. I think both of those are really cool shades, but they're just not necessarily my cup of tea. Okay, now we're going to move on to the second installment of this collaboration. That is the Too Faced Kat Von D Better Together Lip and Cheek Set. So in here, you are going to get an adorable little makeup bag. It's two-sided. It has, on this side, you have the Too Faced um, pink and sparkly, really pretty, little, really girly uh, side with Jared Bandino's Puppy Dog clover. I think that this is super adorable. And then the other side, you're going to get the Kat Von D side. It's more black and you, she's got her name here. And then her cat, who I believe his name is Pilaf. I've seen him on her Instagram and I think that he is just adorable. He always looks so like snuggly and cute and I just feel like he is so fun. So I'm really glad that they did this. And then on the inside, you're going to get, it's black lined and it's got the Too Faced and the Kat Von D logos here. And this I think is cute and it's big enough you could easily throw, you know, some mascara, some powder, a few brushes in and be good to go. I don't know if you could use this as your sole makeup bag. If you have a bottle foundation, it just kind of makes it a little bit awkward. I guess if that was all you were going to put in here, you could easily do that, but I think that if you have more powder type foundations, those will slip right in here easily and you'll be good to go. Along with that, you're going to get four products. We're going to get two from Too Faced and two from Kat Von D. Face side, we are going to get a highlighter in the Too Faced Candlelight Glow and the color is called Rosy Glow. And then you're also going to get the Too Faced Love Flush in the color So Happy Together. And this is supposed to be a long lasting 16 hour blush. So, let's, probably gonna get bashed a little bit for this, but I don't like either of these products. I just don't, I don't think that they're very pigmented. I don't think that they last very long and I just am not a fan. So, it just doesn't really show up on my skin at all. Um, I feel like there are just better highlighters out there that you could save your money and save up for, or even 
Um, I'm trying to think. The Wet n Wild Shimmer Bricks or the Physician Formula Shimmer Bricks. Go for those. They're a couple bucks at the drugstore. They are much better, in my opinion, than this one. So even on, let's go there, right here. This one, it's more of like a highlighter pink. It's really shimmery and really kind of sparkly. And it really doesn't show up very well on my skin tone. And it just kind of seems wah-wah. You know what I mean? It's not... If you have really pale skin or you have really more, you know, lighter skin tones, this might work for you if you like that Barbie pink kind of blush look. Now, that is not what I like to do, but if that's what you do, absolutely. I've seen women pull it off wonderfully. Women and men pull it off wonderfully, but it just doesn't work for what I try to do with my makeup. Next, packaging. I feel like... These look like Barbie makeup, you know, like something, they're plastic, they're hard plastic, but they just, something about them reminds me of like makeup your niece or your daughter would play with, you know, like I would not know, other than it says Too Faced on the packaging, I wouldn't know that this was higher end makeup, you know what I mean? So that's just my opinion, they just kind of, kind of have that Barbie-esque, not that there's anything wrong with Barbie, I love Barbie, but I just don't want to look like her, <laughs> and I don't want to, I don't want to live in a world of plastic, so that's what I'm saying with these. Also, in the set, you're going to get two lip colors. These are from Kat Von D, so you're going to get the Everlasting, let me make sure you this, Everlasting Liquid Lip in XO. It is a deep burgundy red color. It's really pretty. It is more red than purple, so you get a really, really red, but it is a blue undertone. You're also going to get the Studded Kiss Lipstick in the color Muse. I think that this is really pretty. I think it would be really pretty on a lot of different people. It just, it's like a really nice, darker kind of nude color. So I think on Kat Von D's side with this particular cheek set, cheek and lip set, that these colors were chosen with a wide range of skin tones in mind and a wide range of people in mind because either way, like the nude is pretty and it's going to be pretty on a bunch of different skin tones. It's going to be really flattering and it's more of the natural everyday kind of look. And then the liquid lip is more of your va va voom bright red lipstick that you may go party out in, you know, may go out to party in, or it could be a classic everyday look if that is what you do. I just think that maybe the thought process was a little more comprehensive when it comes to who the consumer was going to be than the Too Faced products. So that's just my opinion. No, I love Too Faced. I think that they have wonderful products, but I think that these two were kind of a hit and a miss. So, let's talk about price. So you're going, to, again, you're going to get this cute little bag along with the two Kat Von D lip colors and the two Too Faced cheek uh, products. All five of these products together retail for $38. I think that I love the bag. I really do. I think it's super cute, and I'm so glad that I got it. But I don't know if these two are worth it. I think that you spend a little more, and you got the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick Mini Set, and then picked up one of these Studded Kisses lipsticks. You would spend a little bit more, but I think you would be happier. I do not... I don't love these. I really don't. Uh, so, like, I haven't used these other than swatching them and trying them the first time to see how I felt about them. I, I haven't used them at all. They'll probably go into my give to a friend bucket and hope that they like them more than I do. But I think that if you're a makeup collector and you love collecting different, like, um, memorabilia kind of things that this is a super cute way to do it and I am glad that I purchased it. So that's just about everything in the 
Too Faced Kat Von D Better Together Collaboration Set. The only other thing that you can purchase is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara together. You can purchase those separately. I will link it down below if that's what you would like to do. If those are two of your favorites, it's a great buy. Overall, like I said, I was kind of 50-50 on this entire collaboration. I love both of these brands independently. Kat Von D, for example, is one of my inspirations. She's one of my role models in general. I think that she's one of the most powerful, badass women in the makeup industry at this point in time. And I think that she is so edgy and so different and she embraces that in a way that just makes people love her. You know, she's so endearing and she's so uh, passionate about what she does. And I think that that's wonderful. And then with Too Faced, I love all a lot. I love a lot of their makeup and a lot of their things that they come out with. I think that they are fantastic. I just think that this collaboration may have been a little bit more about them working together than creating a cohesive collaboration. Which is fine, I just don't know if, I I can't say that I give this a 100% stamp of approval to go out and purchase. It's not a holy grail, they're not holy grail items, they're not things that I'm like, I can't live without. So, that's where I am with that. I think that if you have money to blow, and you have all of the other wonderful holy grail makeup, and you just want something to add to your collection, why not? But if you're on a budget or you're looking for things that you're going to be able to do an everyday look with, this is not it. Well, that about wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. You know, what do you guys want me to review? Do you want more DIYs? Do you want more get ready with me, tutorials, reviews? You name it, I will do it. Let me know down below. And if you're not already, please subscribe. And if you want notifications of when I upload videos, hit that little bell next to the subscription bar. And I try to upload at least twice a week, if not more. Life does get busy, you know the drill. But if you hit that little bell, it'll tell you, send you a notification of every time that I upload a video. I hope that you are having a wonderfully positive day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.